In this video, we're going to look at how to submit a mileage claim. From the menu, select the three bars, navigate to expenses and click on create new. It's the same process whether you want to add an expense item or a mileage line. They both bring you into this screen. Most of the information will already be populated for you. Just select the date of the claim. There is a separate video about how to add expense items. Most sites will have a declaration that you have to agree to before you can add your mileage lines. If you have access to more than one car, pick the correct car from the drop down. That will determine your mileage rate. To add a new line, click on new line, either here or here. They both do the same. Pop in the date of the claim, details of your journey, whether you have a receipt or not. And then the mileage can either just be popped in or it is also possible if you've got the Google API key to calculate the distance using this button here. This option to calculate distance is only available if you are using the Google API key. Once you're happy, click on accept and more detail will be populated in the journey details screen. Google is calculating the distance between the start point and the end point only. So if there is a diversion or something else that altered the journey distance, that may need to be tweaked, just overriding the business mileage. If you do have an attachment to add, that can be selected under the Attachments tab. And because we've got journey information, that has been populated on the journey detail. Once you are happy with your mileage claim, click on Save and Save and Close. If you want to add another line, you can do so. We can now see our expenses starting to build. And as we mentioned, we could add an expense item or further mileage lines if we want to. Across the top, we've got an attachments tab where we could add notes if we wanted to for our approver. The approval history tab will grow as the expense progresses. So will the audit history, which just shows a little bit more information about things that have happened on the expense. To submit the mileage for approval, you must save and submit it. If you wanted to save this and add extra lines later without sending it for approval, you can save only. If you were to close the expense, it would not save any changes. In the middle, you've got your mileage line. On the details and values tab is a very high level of information about the mileage claim. On the other tab is also information such as your tax rate. At the bottom of the screen are the values and now I'm ready to save and submit my expense. So that mileage claim has been submitted. I've got my ID at the bottom and now I can just close out of my expense and I'm brought back to my existing expenses. From existing expenses, you can hover over the flag to see who the expense line or mileage line is waiting for to approve it. If there had been any attachments, this would have been indicated by the little paperclip flag. Clicking on your home screen will also show you that a notification has been generated to show who the expense has been sent to for approval. And that's it. That's all you need to do to submit a mileage claim.